A book can take you anywhere. Turn the pages and you'll be there. Come on, join us, you'll see. We're reading with Carrie Lee. Hi, and welcome to another Read with Carrie Lee show at home. We have been so grateful to have so many great authors join us from around the country and around the world with our Zoom recordings. So we are grateful to have a returning author, and we're always grateful to have our returning friends come with us to share their books and share any updates that they may have. And today, again, we have Miss Kim Ann, and she will be reading for us Goldie the Puppy and the Missing Socks. Now, I don't have a dog, but I know that there are so many people out there that may be able to relate with this with having their dog either help them find missing socks or be the cause of <laughs> missing socks. So we thank this Kim Ann for coming to us again. And Miss Kim. If you can take it away, we'll love to hear how Goldie either finds or is the cause of some missing socks. <laughs> Hi, guys. Thank you for having me back. I brought a little girl friend. <laughs> oh. So are we ready to enjoy the story of my puppy? Because this is actually a real puppy. Goldie the puppy and the missing socks. When we fold the socks, sometimes there isn't a pair. We don't know where they go. Do they vanish into thin air? When we put them in the hamper, they don't always come back. Even though we always fold them into a nice, neat stack. On school days when we get ready, we wonder where the other sock could be. I really thought I put two socks down here next to me. We wonder where they go. Could a sock monster be near? Because I really think we've lost about a million socks this year. This happens so often, it can be quite confusing. Where could they be, all the socks we keep losing? Then one day I saw Goldie all fluffy and sweet. My cute little puppy sneaking around my feet. Oh, Goldie, I called her. She looked back at me. Do you have any idea where all the socks could be? Just as soon as I asked her, she was gone in a flash. She ran to her bed as fast as she could dash. Then imagine my surprise as I peeked under a pile. And there were the socks. They had been there all the while. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, it seems that Goldie had a stash of socks there. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't imagine um, what <laughs> what you could have. And you said that this is a real doll. So, is this something that happened in real life? Yes. So, oh. um, Goldie is about eleven months old now, and it was funny because I kept noticing that there was always like a sock missing. <laughs> so anything that was missing, hair ties, socks, slippers, we were finding in Goldie's bed. And I thought it was just funny at first, but then I realized that other people probably have the same situation. But Goldie actually is a bestseller on Amazon. Oh, awesome. Well, I, I know that a lot of people love to, uh, read books about animals and we love that you were able to write this about Goldie and she seems to be very mischievous. So yes. um, is Goldie still with us? 
Yes. <laughs> Goldie is all happy. That book is very new. It's been out oh. in a couple of months. <laughs> okay. And I'm, I'm guessing that Goldie is probably scurrying somewhere about. <laughs> So I, I won't ask you to bring her on to <laughs> because I know how that can be. I have to so, stop. <laughs> stop Goldie, that's that's awesome. So yes, so uh, the last time we were together, we asked you about a, a book that has been an inspiration to you. Do you have any other books that might have inspired your journey as an author? Yes, definitely. I mean, I would definitely say the Goldie book, since that's based off um, real situation that was happening. I had never planned on writing a book about Goldie, but um, it was a really fun book to write. I also have um, books in the Go On Vacation series. So where do elves go on vacation? Where does Santa go on vacation? And sneak peek, just for your listeners, where do unicorns go on vacation? <laughs> Where do unicorns go? <laughs> okay. Where do unicorns go on vacation? I know that's going to be um, <laughs> something that is, and that's good. That's going to be a hit right there because it, we're yeah. all about unicorns right now. So yes, we look forward to that, and uh, we look forward to possibly featuring your books again here on the Read with Carolee show. We are so thankful that you were able to come back and read Goldie for us. And I, I know that you are, you have the third installment of your Ruby the Rainbow Witch books out. And we thank you so much for coming on this journey with us. Hopefully we'll be able to see you soon. And be sure to check out Miss Kim Ann's books on Amazon and on her website, which will be in the description below. And continue to read throughout this season. Uh, we hope to see you soon back in the studio. And until then, remember to grab a book and read. We're reading with Carrie. Thanks for watching another amazing episode of the Read with Carolee show. We have amazing authors coming by every week. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. You don't want to miss a thing.